Ladies and gentlemen, our second fight today will be for the WBC Asia Super Bantamweight 122 pound title. This fight will be fought over 10 rounds. Introducing our first fighter, he is a WBC Asia Continental Champion from the country of Philippines. Give it up for the Alvin Medula! I'm not afraid. Paranalo ako ng knockout. Coming to the ring now, fighting out of the blue corner. Alvin Madeira by way of the Philippines, the WBC Asian Continental Super Bantamweight Champion. This is Champ v. Champ, and that is the title he holds at the moment. Nine and four is his record. Seven of those nine wins coming by way of KO. Oh, please, give it up for Alvin Medura. Extremely tough chin, it's going to be um, tested today against Chai Noi, but he's coming for a KO as you heard. And making his way into the ring now, fighting out of the red corner, the current WBC World Youth Champion. That belt is not on the line, they'll be fighting for the vacant WBC Asia Super Bantamweight title. Now, Chai Noi Waterwood, 7-0-1, all his wins have come by way of KO. He's looking for that KO today, and they've given him the new name, Rock Man. His father was a very famous Muay Thai fighter, and his name was Manut Hin, which is Man of Rock, Rock Man, and they've just bestowed that title upon Chai Noi Wodol. Tell her type, Chai Noi 22, 167 centimeters, 122 pounds. Seven wins, seven KOs. Madura, 2668 centimeters, 122 pounds. Seven KOs for him as well. And I will tell you like this, whatever Chai Noi is doing to have that many women scream for him, we need to figure it out after. <laughs> it's, uh, it's power and aggression. There's some precise punching as well. He likes to kind of turn him on. Alvin Madura, WBC Asia Continental Champion, likes body punches and has never been knocked out, which is going to definitely help him in this fight with Chinoy Rockman Worldwood. The Rockman Chinoy Worldwood, WBC Youth World Champion, seven wins, seven knockouts, so look out for that. Former Muay Thai star. Our main event here today, round one. Red corner, China, water, blue corner, Alvin Medjura. You know, I think a fact that's interesting to uh, bring up is China is number 29 ranked, and his team hopes that with this win, he can challenge the beast that is current WBC Super Bantamweight champ, Ray Vargas. Yep, he'll hopefully move up to within 15th spot within the WBC rankings. If he can get there, he'll be with him with a good shot. I'd like to see him have a few more fights. He needs to be taking more rounds. The furthest he's ever been taken at the moment is, I believe in his last fight was four rounds. Interesting. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can't rush a prospect. He looks good, he's knocking everybody out, but Ray Vargas is no joke. There's nothing wrong with getting your fighter a few more fights before putting in that top opposition. Good left hook by Chinoy. 
Final's taking this very seriously at the moment. Good job to the body by, by Alvin. Oh, good right hand over the top. Uh-oh, touches oh. down. Left He's hurt. Spot and Shino is a finisher, folks. He's looking for nice. splitting the guard. Alvin firing back, though. Nice to smart hold. to tie up, very smart. A sign of things to come there, huge power. Seven KOs from the seven wins. Oh, good right over the top. He likes to wait and just drop that right hand. Eyes already cut there. Good job. Oh, slip and rip. China is looking pristine right now. It's nice to see China hasn't just rushed on him. He's waiting for that opportunity again. Just waiting, waiting. Nice guard as well. 22 years old, but very poised for his age. He's had over 250 Muay Thai fights before the eight bullets. Last time I said it was six, it was not in the road rage incident. He got shot eight times, which uh, cut that career short before he moved over to Western boxing. So he's like the Tupac of the ties. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 50 cent of the ties. You know, when you come from Muay Thai, those guys are tough. And then, as you just said, he, he was shot all those times. And his father was a, was a guy. Oh, good overhand right counter. I was standing in the pocket and just firing back. But he was doing well to keep in there after that uh, barrage. It looked like a knockdown to me. A punch put him down. But oh, he hit him with a liver shot. He's looking in trouble now. Oh! Oh, left drop! Massive Over shot. Over the put top by Alvin Madura! He looked on uh, Queer Street. Ladies. His legs were extremely worried, wobbly. He looks clear now, but that's just changed the fight completely. He got... Here's the thing about it. I talked about this in the last match. Sometimes power can work against you because you get overconfident. And Alvin Madura is a person that likes to stay in the pocket and fight back anyways. And he has seven KOs out of his nine wins. So he, he has punching power of his own. You know, everybody's looking at Chino as the knockout guy and underestimating the power of Alvin Madura, but he just showed it. Chino got lacked for a second and Alvin came over the top with a sweep of overhand left hook. That was not, here we go, we can take a look at it. I mean, pretty much all around, it was a huge round for Chinoy. Looked uh, unsteady there with the cut as well. Big right hands dropping by Chinoy. Oh, look, hands down. Chinoy attacked him with both hands down and got caught with an overhand left hook. Look at this. Oh. And I will tell you like this, one thing Virgil Hunter told me a long time ago at King's Boston Gym, you never leave with a left hook to the body, and that's why. That, uh, that changed the fight completely. And yes. Will that have an effect on uh, Chinoy's mindset? There's a slip there. It's round two. Alvin Madeira trying to come forward. China looks to be very, very composed. I do think it had an effect on him. Strong jab by Madeira. And you were just talking about not rushing China and things like that. So Alvin Madeira with an overhand right. You have to wonder if this is going to change Shinoi's plan. He's used to being an aggressor and putting people down, but now he's been put down. So is he going to start holding back? Massive left hook by Chino as well. Alvin Madura just in the pot. Oh, oh, right hand! He took that right hand. The referee thinks there was a clash. What is the ref hits. doing? The action was just picking up there. He took that shot very well. Huge right hand by Chino. He came forward again. What a fight we have here. We have a power puncher and a pressure fighter is guaranteed to be one of two things, quick or a war. And this is turning into the latter. Yeah, you talk about not rushing. Oh, oh at the left hook again. Chinoy has a habit of dropping his right hand and not bringing it back to his face after he throws it. And Alvin, oh! Massive shots going in. 
Robert Chinoy again there, it looks like. Now Alvin's putting the pressure like he does in all of his fights, and Chinoy's on the back foot. Oh, overhand right by Alvin Madrid. There's very few fighters that can power punch going backward. The great Muhammad Ali is one, one of a few. It is not good for Chinoy to be going backwards like this, and the drill living loose with the right in the body. Oh, oh, oh he's standing with a triple left left. Took some big shots there and still standing. Chinoy is uh, waiting a lot more. I definitely made him think. He rubbed him with a jab there, it looked like, as well. And again, the deal is... Uh, oh. Oh, he's on the back of the head. Oh. What a fantastic Exchange second hooks. round here. China's definitely having to think. Madeira is making him think. He can't rush anything. He can't make any mistakes. If he makes some mistakes. Madeira's got to catch him, counter him and catch him. He knows he could be hurt. Oh. These guys are going at it. Step away right hand. Oh! Oh! How did you see that round? That was a very interesting round. How would you score? I would score that round. You put me on the spot, my man. That's a, that's a tough I would score that round for China slightly. How did you score that round? Uh, it is a tough one to score. Um, I think the the cleaner work was coming from China. He was waiting, but he got caught with some big shots there as well. Yeah. We saw uh, Madeira there with that right hand. There were a couple of big, big shots. Effective aggression that's made him wobble and hurt. So yeah, yeah, China got the cleaner work in there. Yeah, I feel he had the higher output in that round as well. You know, Alvin landed very clean shots, but few and far in between that round. And China always started putting combinations together. He's taking those shots and coming back and uh, rocking China as well. And he's having to think for the first time. This is the first time I've ever seen him in trouble. We talk about not rushing the fighters, and this is exactly what he needs to learn. He needs to come through fights like this. He needs to fight tougher fights than this. He needs to gain experience from a whole different range of fighters, a different style. I agree with you, because no disrespect to Alvin Maduro, but there's a big difference between him and a Ray Vargas. <laughs> exactly. Third round here. World point, champ versus champ. This is for the vacant WBC Asia Super Bantamweight title. Chinoy Warrior in the red corner. Being down in the first round after pretty much dominating the oh, first round. Right to the body by Alvin Madeira. That was nice. Right between the guard. And Alvin Madeira in the blue. Huge shots there. If you see, every time China throws that right hand, it goes down. And that's what got her caught the, the first time. I think she some right hands, but uh, Madeira taking them very well. The jab's been working very nice for China at the start of this round. Alvin Madeira slipping it, just as I said that though, a few times. Madeira coming forward, getting against the ropes. Waiting for his opportunity at the moment. Oh, good exchange of right hands. He needs to keep a tighter, tighter defense. That uh, lead hand in the guards, very low, and Diaz caught him a few times because of it. Good right to the body. Going for shot at the same time. Oh, 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 o
This is what I'm oh, oh, good, good in, in tight left hook. Her eyes open up as well. The beautiful crowd we have here in Thailand. Nice uh, shot inside there by Nadira. Oh, good stuff in right. Still in the third round, grueling fight here. They hear the last 10 seconds of this round, but this is a 10 round fight. You have to wonder, Tyler is putting 100% into a 100% of the contest. Will that last 10 rounds? I can't see this fight lasting 10 rounds. I wouldn't call it which way it's going to go at the moment. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you give China that round? I gave China that round. Uh, Maduro, it, it seems like the last two rounds, especially the third, he kind of, it seems like he's kind of taken a round off from, from my perspective. He's not really putting a punch output that I might see too. And you can't sit there and waste on a power center like China. He doesn't seem like he's kind of at all. So with the first round of 10-8, and then you've got this last two rounds, put himself back into the fight. The highest skill set is from China, but when Madeira gets caught, he seems to be able to take them fairly well. He's got a chin, that's why he's never been stopped before. But you know, e even, even water on the rock will eventually crumble. <laughs> so. How much of this can he take? He, he needs to start firing back. Oh, he starts off with a good jab to the body. Start of the fourth round here. Oh, good exchange of jabs. WBC Asia Super Bantamweight, vacant title on the line. Center of the ring at the moment. But China is trying to just pick his shots a bit more. I'm not trying to rush or put so much power in them. And it's a sensible move at the moment. At this point, he has to know. Oh, good fade away, double right hand. At this point, he has to know he's not going to put this guy away with just a single power shot. He seems to be trying to set things up a little bit better. Old uh, Thai boxing tricks there. If you aren't cheating, you aren't signing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, coming down from that eye. Triple jab. Oh. Knocked off balance. And he's got a tough, tough fighter in front of him. He's not going away. He wants to win this as badly as China. Oh! China had barely got out the way that over and right. He has to keep those hands up. Nice triple jab by China. Oh, nice about hand with a top and right up from there as well. Oh, the ref has to do something about him cupping the back of the head. And so uh, Lennox Lewis will grab the back, bring the uppercuts in. But yeah. uh, he's done that each round, I believe, and the referee hasn't said Every anything. Every round. And giving him three, four shots each time he does. I tell you what, oh, this Oh, massive right hand by Madeira. They have a pair of set them all signed in the corner, and someone <laughs> is going to need it after this match. Jab there. China has been with uh, a big shot there as well. China has been reliant on his power so much. I think he's neglected his defense. And Look at this hand. He just got hit with a left hook there. Uh, 10 seconds of this round. Something seems to have affected China. I think that little left hook, because right after he started backing up and becoming defensive. 
He has a lot of power, but every time he throws it, he doesn't bring his hands back to where they're supposed to be. And I'm wondering if how he's trying to see that he's going to try to capitalize on it. That's the end of the fourth round there. And as WBC rules, this is open scoring. They're collecting the judges' scores at the moment. They'll be brought over to us and we'll tell you the official scorecards. But at the moment, the unofficial scorecard. I have Shine Ray up right now. What about you? You gave him the third round, did you, Anna? I gave him, I gave him round two, three, and four. Uh, Majora has good moments, but not enough. And, and he needs more output in my opinion. He can take the shots. You already know you can take the shots. You're going to take the shots whether you, whether you punch back or not. And I was taught that the best time to catch somebody is when they're punching. He needs to answer fire with fire. He did it the first time and got the knockdown. So I think he can repeat that success. He wants to China to drop his hands after he, after he punches. I agree with you. China, I would agree, is winning the... And he was winning the first until the knockdown. Here we go with the fifth round. But he looks like he wobbles more and he gets in serious trouble. Madeira looks as if he's dealing with the big punches better. I agree. I agree. Because at the end of that round, it was a slight, it was a slight left hook. The judges have it up for 37, 38, 38, 37, and 38, 37. They have it ab about where I have it at right now. Actually. So one judge is giving it to um, Nadir at this point, 38, 37. Two of them going for China. Yeah, yes, uh, I disagree with that. But you can, you, you can argue. You can, it's depending on what you're looking for. Though. see this pretty much as you, the two do. Very, very close fight. That knockdown uh, from Madeira gave him the points. But he's making China work for this. China is switching South Paul for a second. <laughs> Trying to bring out some Terrence Crawford. <laughs> Fourth of the moment. Right hand again. Oh, this sends right hand and left hook. As you said a moment ago, water on the rock erosion. Time, you can't take this again and again. The blood over the chest and the shoulder from that cut on the eye of Madeira. Oh, good right hand. that at the end, I will tell you like this, there are three things you will never find bad in the Philippines. Food, women, and boxers. <laughs> they, Majora, he's still in there. They're a tough, tough nation of fighters. You see them coming here time and time again. And they, they come here to win. Yes, you know, at the end of that round, China looks like he's, he's the most tired of the two. So, and we still have a lot, we still have a lot of rounds to go. 
running halfway through this title fight for the WBC Asian Championship Super Grand Prix title fight. Yeah. Yeah, as you said, we're halfway through at the halfway stage. You gave China that round, or? I gave China. If the tie can turn The three judges at ringside today, Kanadan, Yubak, Omsin, Ratanakun, and Rirak Katasila. It all depends how they see it. A great utilization of the drama by China. And six on the way. Oh, three jabs in the road for the right man. China only made an adjustment and started utilizing that drive, and now he's to make an adjustment to counter that drive. He's just taking it straight on the nose. Okay, he gets over with the right hand as well. Oh, massive shot there by China. I don't know what Madeira has in his team, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> that was massive. It, it misplaced his feet and moved him backwards, but it did not put him down. I'd like to see the replay of the first round. I believe there was a knockdown for China. The referee didn't actually count. I remember that at the first minute of the first round. It looks like a slip to me, but I would like to see a replay of it as well. Oh, oh damn it, Slip and trying to go punches, but I think he needs to keep his guard up as well at the same I time. Agree, because in the last one, he tried the shoulder roll like Mayweather and got hit right over the top. Are we having a doctor look at the eye at the moment. Doesn't seem to be obstructing his view. I'll have a closer look at it. The doctor should let this continue. Mm -hmm. As you said, it's not obstructing his vision, so... There's a cut above, but it doesn't seem to be coming into the eye. Mm -hmm. There's a cut underneath as well, but that's not going to affect the eye at all. They should let this continue. Mm -hmm. There you have it, the doctor's pulled it off. Card then, I believe. Did you give me no, actually. Wait a moment. So is this going to the scorecard? I believe so. Any confusion there? I Ref, uh, the doctor put a red card out, which means to call the fighter up, but both fighters went to the corner. It looks like they were coming out to fight again. So collecting the scorecards I now. I was hoping they were coming out to fight again. We, we still have to go. This is a close fight. If one of the, uh, or two of the judges saw the last few rounds, after the fourth, after we got that open scoring. It could be uh, extremely close. could even be... I have a Ladies and gentlemen, in our main event this evening, one minute and 51 seconds into the round, our doctor has had a stoppage due to a cut above the fighter's eye. Therefore, our champion, the new WBC Asia Super Bantamweight 122 pound champion is from Thailand, the red corner, And there you have it. No cards were needed. 
It was not by a clash of heads, it was classed as deemed by the punches from Chinoy. So there you have it, Chinoy, Rockman, Wanawood, the new WBC Asia Super Bantamweight Champion. To present our champion with the belt. In general, COVID, the Vice President of the World Boxing Council, to hand the belt over. In only his ninth fight, another belt is excellent for him, but he was made to work for that. It did not all go his own way. Me personally, I, I wish the fight would have continued. Something, something like a WBC Asian Championship on the line. And it, like you said, the cut wasn't bleeding into his eye. It wasn't obstructing his vision. And a lot of fights like that, I, I, I don't see fights like that stop too often. Unless the cut is too deep or the blood is going into the fight's eye. And neither one seemed to be at play. I think they should have gave him at least a round more. I agree with you there. I think the doctor looked at Madeira's face. He looked quite demoralized. He was taking some huge shots. He was showing toughness. But I think it had started to wear on him. Maybe the doctor had a bit more compassion, not just about the eye, but about what was going on. But like I said, with the title on the line, he should give the fighter the chance to redeem himself. But Jorah still was fighting back. Yes, he, 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 he still was landing hard shots to the ground. So I think if the fighter is showing that, it should be allowed to continue. If he was just faking the shot, as we've seen in one of the fights earlier, then I begin to question if the fight should continue. There wasn't much protest for Madeira, though, as it was called off. Maybe, I think the doctor read something into not the cut 